Here's the setup I'm using. Uh, this is 13 inches wide and uh, 26 inches long. These are the uh, sides of the stools. And I want to be able to replicate this pattern on all of them without having to measure and mark each one. So what I did was I created a custom jig. This is a piece of plywood, just a piece of scrap up here and two pieces of scrap to align everything so every piece will go in the same way. I will clamp it in place uh, to keep it from moving and I will have to move the clamps because I'm going to clamp on, clamp on this side <clears throat> and the, the shaper will get in the way. Uh, the visible portion of the tape in front of the shaper window is about 11 inches and I put three pieces of tape out here and tested it out and it can see it everywhere so that's that's probably six inches uh, so even starting at the far side here and ending up at the far side here it, it can see all the tape I have to rotate a little bit um, but that's not a problem so this will make it repeatable the pattern is a, a I made a grid from this corner and um, and uh, I made a grid for the piece and reference off this corner and checked it before I cut so everything lines up and it should be good. This piece will get cut out so I'm just routing it to an eighth of an inch. Uh, then I'll use a jigsaw to cut it out and flush trim it um, so this will come out and make the feet for the router. Um, so in other words it's very repeatable and it will make it as fast as I can cut. You will notice <clears throat> that the pattern cuts here and here and then this way and this way and then this bottom piece is its own piece and that's really a byproduct of how the design was made and how the pieces were uh, how the how the circle was cut and separated and then these pieces ended up so the the pattern itself is actually this piece and this piece and this piece and I guess this piece and this piece but those don't matter because once I cut the line that's that's it and uh, so let's do another one